Hey everyone, Arbor617 here with another one of my quick tips for Minecraft animation using Blender. This episode I'll be showing you how to have characters, you know, pick up things or hold on to things and carry things around. This isn't really specific to Minecraft animation, but it's something that you'll be using a lot if you're doing Minecraft animation. So, I'm just going to show you how to do that. So, you have your character, you have your object you want to pick up, you appended it or something, using the appending thing I showed you in the main tutorial series. And you want this to be connected to his hand. Now, let me go out of pose mode for this guy real quick. So sometimes when you click on your character, you click on like his bone, and you know it selects the entire thing. Like, oh, how do I, you know, click on, you know, his arm? It won't let you click on the arm. You can only click on this, you know, overall thing. That of course means you're not in pose mode. So you want to be in pose mode. That way we have the ability, if we're clicking on something else, we can right click on a specific bone. It's literally as simple as first you want to just line up the thing the way you want it. Oops. Just kind of put it like in his hand, however you so desire. It's probably good enough. And then you're going to hold shift and right click the bone part we want to parent it to. We're going to hit alt P. Sorry. We're going to hit control P. There we go. Bone relative. And then that's literally now he's holding it. You can animate him like normally. He's holding the stuff. It's literally symbols as parenting. However, what this tutorial was also covering was how to kind of pick things up. Now that it's stuck to him, you know, we can't get rid of it. We, it's stuck on him. So let's undo a little bit back before I parented it. I think it's... Yeah, so now it's separated again. And let's look at another way. The way I do most of my parenting, if you're just... If you know that this character is going to be holding onto this the whole animation, you can just parent it using the shift, the control P technique. However, if, if this was like setting down on the ground, we want him to like, let's actually, hold on. Let's say it's like, you know, sitting down here, we want him to like reach forward and pick it up. So let me actually turn on auto keyframing and I'll actually kind of animate him reaching forward a little bit. The first thing you're gonna want is something called dynamic parent. This is a really simple plugin. You just do a quick search for blender dynamic parent. Um, this looks like it's it. And go to the version download. Dynamic parent. Yeah, so you get this Python script, the .py script. And like all Blender add-ons, once you download that .py, you go to file, user preferences, add-ons, install from file. You'll locate your .py script wherever it may be. Then you'll, you'll hit install from file, and you'll hit save user settings. And again, you might have to go down here and you know, manually click dynamic parent and activate it or whatever. But anyway, you're going to want dynamic parent. So let's grab this character. Let's say he starts out here. So give him a keyframe. Oh, actually, it's working. Um, you're going to kind of start out here. A little bit forward. Maybe he's going to kind of stretch. This is mostly about the picking up. So I'm going to, you know, just do the action animation pretty simple. Then he's going to lean forward. Then he's going to reach forward and grab the pickaxe. We want him to pick it up right about, okay, we want him to pick it up there, and then he's going to lean back, and then reset his arm, and maybe this, okay, so I'm just doing the body movements right now, and I'll show you how I'm going to connect this in a second, so we have him, you know, he just kind of, I didn't do much animation. He grabs it and he picks it up. So, what we do with this dynamic parent, I believe it's the other way around for some reason. We're going to click on the bone first, I believe. Right, we'll go to the frame where we want him to pick it up, right here. And we'll shift select the pickaxe, which is the opposite of the way you do it when you normally parent. Then you'll hit create. And you'll see it'll create like a little thing. And now, literally, that's as simple as it is. Boom, he picked it up. But of course, you know, we want him to actually maybe kind of like spin it around. So maybe he'll, um, we can even give him like a little, maybe he'll spin up, let's, let's go into animation real quick, and move this arm lower to the right a lot, not that much. So what I just did was made it, he's going to actually kind of flip it up. So you can, once you have things parented, you can still animate the individual things. So I can say this, he picks it up, then he spins it, and we want it to 
spin around things like y, y. Yeah, like this. And we're going to move it. So now we're keyframing the um, pickaxe. There we go. So it's sitting down there on the ground, reaches forward, picks it, and kind of spins. Okay, that needs to kind of spin a lot faster. And maybe also move a little bit more in. And also one thing I haven't really showed too much in the tutorials, if you have things like tools, and you know, it's at a weird angle now, you can change this mode from global to local, and now these little arrows will move like relationship to the pickaxe itself, so you can get more like precise. Yeah, that looks good enough. So he kind of, he reaches it, spins it up, and maybe he, now that he has it, he straightens his back out. Maybe that he then twists back. And then we're gonna have him do a nice he's gonna throw the pickaxe. This is gonna be a very horrible f throwing animation, just because I'm doing it really fast. Just gonna throw it down. I also kind of messed it up a little bit. Apologies for the motor scooter going by outside. Also, my dog just ran in my room. And just, oh, she fell asleep behind me. So I'm going to throw it, and that's going to go down. So I'm going to go whoosh. Okay, good enough. So now we have that, and now I believe we, we can just select this part, just the pickaxe now, and we're going to go right, right to where we want him to drop it. So he, he's got it. And he leans back, and right here, here, maybe we want to, we're going to hit disable, now you'll see that he's going to pick it up, and then he, you know, he dropped it, so, let's go for a little bit, that's another keyframe, so now you can see he picks it up, and throws it, but we don't have any of the throwing animations, now it's just a matter of, you know, start here, go forward, there's the Y way, let's maybe spin it around a little bit, move it way off over here, and again, this is where we're going to go into the curve. Okay, that looks really bad. <laughs> also, the spinning. You'll have a lot of issues when you spin things a lot of times. And that has a little bit to do with stuff that even I don't fully understand. It has to do with quaternions um, rather than Euler coordinates. And it's just a little weird. But you get the idea. I mean, if you would have obviously spent more time on this, I hope. Let's actually pull this a lot closer. Maybe that far out. Throws the pickaxe. You get the idea. And the rest is up to you, just to animate it and look, make it look better. If I turn off, let me just delete all this. Um, yeah, it's, it's in... Just delete the spinning. Wait, what? Just delete those. Spin. There we go. Throws it. And you also probably want to go in here. And we want the locations. Let's actually grab this whole... Let's just make this whole thing linear. That way it flies faster. There we go. You get the idea. That was pretty much the purpose of this tutorial, just showing you how to, you know, you reach forward, picks it up, and you, whoop, tosses it. And that's all you really need. So you just use dynamic parent to use the create and stuff. You can also use dynamic parent if you have this thing selected. I believe if you, um, you can, you can go to, like, clear, and you can clear it all off if you want to kind of start over. But that's what I use to do my picking up and dropping things and throwing things. Hope it helps you. Again, leave comments below on what you'd like to see in future quick tips. And... You know, if you leave good comments, maybe that'll be the next episode, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.